Welcome to this lesson on an intro to trigonometry. Right triangle trigonometry, or trig for short, is a branch of math that deals with the relationship between the sides and angles of a right triangle. A trig ratio is the ratio, or a fraction, or a comparison between two numbers, between the sides of a right triangle. So there are three trig ratios that we will learn in geometry. The first one is called sine, and you abbreviate that S-I-N. However, don't say sin, it's still pronounced sine. So the ratio of sine is the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse of a right triangle. The next trig ratio is cosine, and it's abbreviated COS. And it is the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse. And then the last trig ratio is tangent, which is abbreviated TAN. And it's the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side. Okay, so let's talk about what those actually mean. So first of all, opposite side and adjacent side depend on the angle of your right triangle. And then the hypotenuse, we already know, is always across from the right angle. It's always the longest side. Okay, so let's look at this right triangle here, and I'm going to use some different colors. Okay, so I'm going to color in this angle, and we're just going to call it the pink angle. And then I'm going to color in this angle. We're just going to call it the blue angle. So anytime you want to find a trig ratio, you're going to be finding the ratio as you're looking at a particular angle. So for example, if I'm looking at the pink angle, the side opposite from it would be here, directly across. So this is the opposite side of the peak angle. And then adjacent, we already know means next to, like adjacent angles are next to each other. So the adjacent side is the side that is next to the angle. Now the hypotenuse will also be next to the angle, but it's the hypotenuse. It's not going to be anything else but the hypotenuse. So let's go ahead and label that green because the hypotenuse doesn't change. It's always going to be the same. All right, now let's say I'm looking at the blue angle now. So if I look at the blue angle, the side opposite of that angle would be here. And if you are filling out these notes and you have two different colors, that would be a great way to remember this. And then if I'm looking at the blue angle, the adjacent side, the one right next to it, would be here. So opposite and adjacent depend on the angle that you're looking at. So for example, if I want the sine ratio of the blue angle, then I would want this side opposite over the hypotenuse. Or let's say I wanted the cosine of the pink angle. I would want this side adjacent over the hypotenuse. All right, so let's look at some examples that actually have side lengths. Okay, so here we have a right triangle, ABC, and it has side lengths of 3, 4, and 5. So I'm going to label angle A as the pink angle, and I'm going to label angle C as the blue angle. So before I even get into the actual examples, let's label our sides based on the angles. So 
if I'm looking at the pink angle, the opposite side would be 3. I'm just going to put an O for opposite. And the adjacent side would be 4. And 5 would be the hypotenuse. It's not going to change. If I'm looking at the blue angle, the opposite side would be 4. And the adjacent side would be 3. So opposite and adjacent switch depending on the angle that you're looking at. So if I want to find, for example, number one, the sine ratio for angle A. So I'm going to scroll back up here. Sine is opposite side over hypotenuse. So I'm looking at angle A. The opposite side for angle A is 3. And the hypotenuse of my triangle is 5. All right, if I want to find the cosine of angle A, so let me scroll back up. Cosine is adjacent side over hypotenuse. So the adjacent side to angle A is 4. The hypotenuse doesn't change, it's still 5. And then the tangent of angle A would be opposite over adjacent. So opposite of angle A is 3. Adjacent to angle A is 5. Now for the next three examples, I'm not looking at angle A any longer. I'm looking at angle C. So opposite and adjacent sides will switch. So for angle C, if I want the sine ratio for angle C, opposite of angle C would be 4, and the hypotenuse is 5. The cosine of angle C would be adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent to angle C would be 3 over 5. And then tangent, if you look back up, is opposite side over adjacent side. So the opposite side of C is 4, adjacent side is 3. Now an easy way to remember the trig ratios so that you do not have to keep going back in your notes and looking is so ka toa. All right, so let's talk about what that means. So this stands for sine, and sine is opposite over hypotenuse. That's what the O and the H are. The C is for cosine, and cosine is for adjacent and hypotenuse. And then I bet you can guess the T is for tan, tangent, and that's opposite over adjacent. So at the top of any practice notes or worksheets that you're going um, to be completing, I would write that at the top, so Katoa, and then you already have the trig ratios and their orders right there for you. Okay, you can go ahead and stop this video now and complete intro to trigonometry practice and check it with your teacher.